Moscow, Idaho has been in the national spotlight for two months since four University of Idaho students were stabbed to death in a home near campus. Tonight, a special edition of 2020 brought you a side of the case you haven't seen or heard. And just when it seemed as though the investigation had gone cold, police made an arrest. Police were calling me every day and telling me uh, updates um, up until th that day. And uh, since then, it's been a prosecutor, someone from the prosecutor's office that, that stays in touch with me. 28-year-old WSU student Brian Koberger was arrested in Pennsylvania in the early morning hours of December 30th. Tonight, he's in the Latah County Jail. A gag order has been issued by a judge, which means no attorneys or investigators can talk about the case. And new information may be hard to find in the coming months. Koberger has waived his right to a speedy preliminary hearing, giving his defense team more time to prepare. That means he won't be back in court until June 26th. New on Nightside, our Rania Kaur spoke to a local expert about what will come next in this case. Rania. The defense now has months to build a case. They'll argue in the preliminary hearing that there's not enough evidence for this case to go to trial. Part of building that case is filing a request for discovery, which the defense filed Tuesday. It requires the prosecution and law enforcement to share all the information they have on this case. Are you waiving your right to a speedy preliminary hearing and agreeing that that hearing can be held outside the 14-day period? Yes. Five months. That's how long Brian Koberger's attorneys have to study the evidence in this case. It may not be in your best interest to rush to that trial. Spokane attorney Bevan Maxey has stood as the defense attorney for many high-profile cases. He says the defense's request for discovery will give them key pieces of evidence. You know, to see who's being identified as witnesses. That could include the victim's roommates or people who know Kohlberger. It will also give the defense access to the knife sheath found at the crime scene. It's going to be very, very elaborate. And that's why you're seeing all these requests. Evidence Koberger's attorney will use to convince a judge there's no need for a trial. So the obligation is not just to turn over the bad things, but also to turn over those things that could be looked at as being positive on behalf of the defendant. On the other side, the prosecution already had enough evidence to arrest and charge Koberger. That was outlined in the affidavit of probable cause. But they won't stop there. And so I'm sure they are continuing to follow up and hope that maybe other evidence or other people come out of the woodwork to, to strengthen their case. Again, Koberger's next court appearance will be on June 26th for his preliminary hearing. In studio tonight, I'm Rania Kaur, 4 News Now.